MBA students at Oxford University's Said Business School have been brainstorming ideas for their go-to projects. Now our teams must choose a single issue around climate action to focus on. It's not an easy task. Every question that we look at opens up further questions and it's very difficult to narrow it down to one specific problem that we want to look at. I feel like I'm, I'm spreading, spreading more because there's, you know, new sort of uh, shedding light on new issues and new problems and you're like, oh, maybe this sounds interesting. There's a bit of an information overload going on and we don't really know which direction we'll go in. So it feels like we'll have a lot of work to do. <laughs> yeah. Guided by tutors Aoife and Peter, ideas begin to emerge. The energy team is planning to investigate an issue associated with the increasing use of electric vehicles. The government here in the UK has mandated that um, vehicles need to transition to um, non-fossil fuel sources uh, by 2030. That's really good news, but it also leaves a question of what to do with the lithium-ion batteries within those EVs once they've reached the end of their useful life. And we just don't want batteries uh, to be like the next plastic to be produced and disposed without being reuse or recycle. They had started with this idea of electric vehicle integration and vehicle to grid solutions, but they weren't really thinking about the connection to problems. I tried to challenge them to go deeper in getting a sense of why this is going to be a problem in the future when we have more EVs on the grid. And so we were able to get to the point where they reframed their problem to be about batteries and the life cycle of batteries. So can they be repurposed for grid storage or uh, local community power storage? Um, and then even after that again, can, they, can the cells be recycled back to the raw materials and, and then uh, remanufactured for use again? Meanwhile, the food and agriculture team is focusing on an idea around the recycling of soil nutrients. We're looking at the problem of nutrient waste in the agricultural system, focusing on how to get um, phosphorus out of wastewater. They're taking one aspect of the kind of fertilizer industry that based on phosphorus, which is a um, essentially a rare commodity um, that's only found in a couple of parts of the world, and it's a dwindling resource. Our perception is that phosphorus is not being recovered in a that big deal and send back to agriculture. There is a real opportunity to try to think about a circular economy approach where we can actually recover phosphorus from our own waste, wastewater and other kinds of things and bring it back into the system. It's a social issue, it's a regulatory issue, it's an environmental issue. There, the world is running out of phosphorus and phosphorus is needed in fertilizer to grow our food. Having clearly defined their ideas, the teams are excited to get on with the next stage of their projects. The team is really coming together now, which is great. Um, people seem to be taking their own roles uh, and, and have expressed which part of the project they're actually excited about and what they want to work in. We've all done our research and when we came in, we came in prepared. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been really good so far. I'm looking forward to the next couple of weeks, see how it progresses. Join us again as the teams continue to research their groundbreaking ideas on climate action.